Today is June 6th or 7th. <laughs> Today would be the 8th of June. June 7th? Is it June 6th or 7th? 7th? All right, well, I don't wear this watch a lot. June 6th, June 7th, 2024, the day of the wedding. Would you believe you were the first person to get that right today? No way. It's June 7th, <laughs> and it's wedding day. <laughs> Me and Kennedy went to elementary school together and we actually rode the same bus. He's my sister's age, two years older. He was like the cool guy in the back of the bus. Then my family moved away to Valpo, so it's like 45 minutes away. We didn't keep in touch or anything. Fast forward a decade or so later, social media reconnected these two. Kennedy posted a picture on Instagram of her catching a fish, or actually, I'm sorry, no, it was a bunch of weeds on a hook. I think I said something to the effect of like, nice catch, hope the minkos are doing well. He says he wanted to know how the minko family was doing, but I mean, we kind of read between the lines. He didn't reach out to any of us. Classic, just, you know, trying to be a good guy, check in. Had nothing to do with Kennedy being the most gorgeous girl I've ever seen in my life. A couple years ago, he reached out on social media and then we had a 13 hour date and the rest is history. Oh my gosh. We've done a lot of cool stuff together. This totally just goes through all of our entire dating through now. Thank God there's more pages for memories because I feel like today might take up about 10 of these. <laughs> oh. So this is actually his grandma's ring that he gave me and made it into a necklace. That's awesome. Rhett is positive. He's always coming in and saying, okay, are we gonna have a good day today? What are we gonna do? If you meet him, you just instantly fall in love with him. Rhett's somebody who's always in your corner. He's a very generous guy. He's a super positive, winsome man. Energetic, loyal, and uh, passionate. He is really good at getting you out of your comfort zone. He's up for anything. You tell him tomorrow you want to go skydiving, he'll say yes. He's the most positive person. He's so happy, driven, and the most loving human ever. My favorite thing about Kennedy is her goofy, fun spirit. She brings the life to the party. Number one, I would say she's a helper. She's somebody that's always going to be there for you, and she wants you to succeed. I think she just has like an infectious energy to her. She likes to bring people together and just have fun. She's very family oriented. She just forces people to have fun and treat a situation lightly. There's such a light and a joy to her. Kennedy will kick some ass, man. She is, uh, she's someone that you want on your team. She's gonna fight for you. She literally has the warmest heart of any person you'll ever meet. <laughs> You're beautiful. Dad, today I marry the man of my dreams. The man we have been praying for all your life. Dad, I'm so grateful <clears throat> to have been raised in a home where love was not just spoken, but lived out every day. Your marriage has set the standard for what a truly loving and God-centered relationship looks like. And it is my greatest hope that my relationship with Rhett will be as strong and as loving as yours. Thank you, Dad, for showing me the way, your little girl, Kennedy. Thank you. I love you. Mm -hmm.
are gathered here to praise God for the covenant of grace and reconciliation made with us through Jesus Christ. To hear it proclaimed anew and to respond to it as we witness the covenant of marriage Rhett and Kennedy make with each other in Christ's name. entering into today a lifetime commitment of serving the other and you have expressed your willingness to make that commitment to each other and so the item that I handed to them is a carabiner and so I give you the carabiners today as a symbol of holding fast to each other because the beautiful thing when you are held fast when you have a confidence, Kennedy, that Rhett is holding on to you and clinging you, and Rhett, when Kennedy is doing the same, it gives you the ability to stretch, to try new things, to take risks, but have that comfort of safety. And it is such a beautiful thing to have as a gift within your marriage. So I just pray that you will be able to hold fast to each other for many, many years ahead. I, Rhett, take you, Kennedy, to be my wedded wife. I, Kennedy, take you, Rhett, to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. It is my privilege to introduce to this company of family and friends for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Rhett Parker. favorite thing is being with our family and being with our friends. So you can imagine that the one night that we get to bring everyone together and we get to both be at, it's quite a special one. I really appreciate you guys all being here to support this with us. And uh, we love you all. And thank you for, uh, for showing your love to us. I will never forget the first time Rhett told me about Kennedy. He simply said, she's a keeper. After meeting her and spending some time with the two of them together, she is kind, beautiful, smart, athletic. I see firsthand how happy Kennedy makes Rhett 
and how they encourage each other to be the best version of themselves. If I could draw out Kennedy's perfect person, he would not hold a candle to Rhett. You walk into every space, no matter how different, with humility and an authenticity that makes others feel important and respected. It's an honor to witness the love that you two hold for each other, a love that surpasses all understanding. Rhett, I have considered you a brother from the moment we have met, and I am so very thankful to make that official today. honored to have such a beautiful, caring daughter and honored to have you as her husband and now our son. You are both extremely blessed. Look at this room. Rhett, I love you. Kennedy, it has been an absolute pleasure getting to know you and your family the last year, year and a half. You guys are tracking to a great future. Wish you all the best and enjoy every moment. Cheers to you guys. To the one who comes before all, to the one I cannot live a single day without, to the one I want to be a better man for every day, I promise to be accountable for ensuring these items remain true and flourish because together we are going to give more than we get, we are going to get more than we want, and we are going to want more than we are. Love, Rhett. Today marks a beginning of a new chapter in our lives and I'm filled with gratitude for the journey that has brought us to this moment. From the first time I met you, I knew there was something special about you, your kindness, your warmth, and your unwavering love have touched my heart in ways I never thought possible. With you, I have found a love that is pure, genuine, and unconditional. A love that I thank God for every day. His love will guide us, His grace will sustain us, and His blessings will surround us as we journey through life together as husband and wife. With all my love forever, Kennedy Grace.